Our objective today is to define the term force in physics. We are going to demonstrate by a few simple experiments that a force is any influence on an object that changes the object's shape or motion. For example, we can bend a straight saw blade or other strip of metal by placing the blade's end with a finger or by placing a small weight. So, the force exerted by the finger or by the hanging mass changes the shape of the saw blade from straight to bent. Now we place a coin on the blade's end. The coin is at rest. We bend the blade a little bit and release. The coin was flipped into the air. In this experiment, the force exerted by the flexible bent blade on the coin set it into motion from rest. And again, enjoy. For the following experiment, we are going to mount a coil spring on our demonstration board. That's it. At rest, we can easily see that the spring's length is approximately four holes on the board. One, two, three, four. Now we are going to stretch the spring by a hanging weight. Yes, like this. Now we can see that the spring's length is more than five holes. One, two, three, four, five. Clearly, one hole more than before. Now, we are removing the weight and we can get the same effect by pulling the spring with the hand like this. Okay? In this demonstration, the force applied by the weight and the hand on the spring change its shape and, in this case, its length. What will happen if I release this tennis ball from my hand? Easy to guess. The ball will fall down on the floor like this. And why it happened? because the ball was attracted by the force of Earth's gravity, but in this case, the force acted from a distance, without any direct contact with the ball, as was the case with the former experiments, when one object acted on another. Here also, as a result of the force applied, the ball underwent a change of motion, since the Earth's force set it in motion from rest. For the next experiment, we are going to mount our inclined plane on the demonstration board at desired angle. Okay, that's it. Now, we take this car, hold it for a little bit, and release. The car is racing down. Again. Since the car can fall vertically downwards, it rolls down the plane with increased speed to the lower point possible. Okay? Here, 
the force of Earth's gravity causes a change to the car motion since it rolls down from rest. Now look at this simple horseshoe magnet. It attracts a resting iron cylinder. The magnet can do it even if an object is placed between them. Follow. Okay? Again. Here the force applied by the magnet triggers a change in the motion of the resting cylinder and again acts from a distance without any direct contact between the objects. On the table are scattered a few small pieces of paper. Now I'm touching these small pieces of paper with this simple plastic cam and nothing happens. Ok? Now let's rub the cam with a piece of cloth for a while. And let's see what happens. The calm attracts these pieces of paper will jump and stick to it for a while. Somehow the rubbed calm exerts a force on the pieces of paper and sets them into motion as the result of static electricity created by the rubbing effect. We have here a simple series electrical circuit consisting of a battery, a switch, a wire and a simple compass placed near the wire. When we close the switch, a current flows through the wire and the needle of the nearby compass is deflected. Again. The needle is deflected because instead of being attracted by the magnetic field of the earth, it is being attracted by the magnetic field created by the current flowing through the wire. Here again, the force involved acts from a distance without contact. To sum it up, in this episode we have seen that a force is exerted on an object whenever its shape or motion are affected. In a few cases, the influence was achieved by direct contact whereas in other cases the influence was achieved from some distance. We have demonstrated a few types of forces, mechanical, magnetic and electrical forces. Take in account that there are other types of forces in existence that were not demonstrated here.